Alright guys, time to see the capacity of this beast. The light's still on. It's bl been blinking on flat for about uh, half an hour. The light's still on. But uh, we're going to go from here and see where we end up. We've reset our watt hour meter. And uh, the light goes off and away it goes into charge mode. And we are charging at 9 volts, point, 1.7 watts, 1.7 amps, 15 odd watts of charge speed. So. There's our watt hours, there's our milliamp hours. I'll come back and let you know. It's also timing our uh, charge session here, so. We'll wait until it's fully charged and uh, then we'll know what we've got. Took a lot to discharge this. We uh, First thing we did was um, jump start the ute and the truck and then we also jump started the truck again for a TikTok video and then pumped up a normal 19 inch car tyre and then pumped up 150 psi into a portable fire extinguisher. So you'll see all of them in the main review but we're going to charge this beast up and see where we end up. Okay, so we, as we can see, we've got four bars of green solid on, but we only got 50 watt hours. Yeah, three, three places behind, so 50 watts and 5,400 milliamp hours. No, three hours and 10 minutes it took to charge. Mm. That's a bit shy of the 74 watts. Before I release this video, I'm going to do this test again just to make sure that it's accurate because uh, I don't want to claim 74 watt hours. And like I have uh, previously in the video and stated, that's what the rated capacity is in case it's actually not. So we're going to do this again and uh, see what we come out with next time. So let's unplug it and uh, start uh, discharging it again until we get a uh, another test result, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. Alright, sorry about the 3D printer noise, we are flashing on flat again and when we turn the light on, it comes on for a minute and then goes out on a fault code, so we actually should be flat now, um, yeah, I don't think we were actually flat the first time because um, everything was still working pretty well. So we're gonna we reset the meter. And uh, we'll go again. We'll see what we end up with this afternoon. So I might not have been super fair on it for its first discharge either. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, we're back fully charged again. We have done 6 point 63 watt hours. That was in a total of 4 hours of charge time, which works out to 6.8 amp hour at the 9 volt. So we'll do one more and see if it's better again. Because uh, that's, uh, that's definitely closer to 74, but not quite there yet. We'll just hope that it's kind of the cells breaking in. We'll uh, do one more. Alright, this will be the uh, fourth charge cycle. As you can see, when we try and turn the light on, we're actually flat. I think that's going to be about as good as it gets. Reset our meter. Nope, that's where you reset the meter. Okay, meters reset, USB-C, show you again, it's dead flat. Get that USB-C cable in there. And 
why is the meter not going? Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, there we are. Seven volts, two amps. That's an interesting choice, but still 15 watts. And the watt hour figure is all we care about because it's rated at 74 watt hours. So, have another go. We'll come back a bit later and update you. Mm, okay, so we're charged again. Might let the light turn on because we're plugged in. What do we end up with? 66 watt hours. So that's a little bit shy of the 74 it's rated for. Maybe it's protecting itself, but uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. We're just going to use this for a couple of weeks and uh, I'll revisit this in a future video. But uh, yeah, a little bit shy on the watt hours as compared to its 74 watt hour rating. I'd expect to see, say, 90 watt hours by the time you take in inefficiencies. Anyway, that's well worth a yeah, test and check. It's definitely got plenty of grunt for starting and things like that, so it's not a problem. Overall, very happy with the unit so far. We will uh, test that in a few weeks' time and see if the capacity comes up. Sometimes that happens with lithium cells. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's hope that's the case. But uh, at least we've got some baselines, so in three, six months' time, whatever, we can see if there's any degradation as well. So, thanks for watching. I'll update you as uh, I do more things with this beast and uh, catch you in the next video.